To culture methanotrophs, first you have to isolate bacteria on an agar plate. This is done by streaking bacteria on the plate with a sterile loop. First I'll show you how to do this with a sharpie. The first streak contains the most bacteria and should be done in one quadrant of the plate. Now rotate the plate and streak again through the first area. This will dilute the bacteria further. Rotate the plate again and streak through the second area to dilute the bacteria into single colonies. After incubation, you'll see bacteria growing in the areas you streaked. To do this with live bacteria, take a pre-grown plate and pick a single colony with a sterile loop. We use disposable sterilized loops because of the methane in our laboratory. Alternatively, this can be done with a flame sterilized wire loop. Take the first colony and streak it on the plate. The idea here is to spread all of the cells in the colony over a small area. For the second streak, it is important to use a new loop or to sterilize your loop before streaking in the second zone. It is also important to only cross into a previous zone once in order to dilute the bacteria down to single colonies on the plate. Bacteria should be diluted in the third streak in order to obtain individual colonies. Once completed, label the plate with the organism, the date, and your name, and put it in an incubator. Methanotrophs can be grown in large quantities in liquid culture started from a solid plate. You'll need sterilized glassware, if using methane, the glassware should have a rubber septa to inject gas through. Loosen the cap on the glassware first without removing it. The media for our methanotroph contains three components. P3% media, which contains 3% salt, a phosphate solution, as well as a carbonate solution. The carbonate helps buffer the media at an alkaline pH for the methanotroph. Loosen the cap on your media Dispense your media using a sterilized serological pipette we will use 25 milliliters in one culture. When making media, it is important to keep bottles open for a small amount of time as possible. This is to reduce contamination.
Using a micropipetter, add the phosphate solution and the carbonate solution. There's half a milliliter of phosphate solution per 25 milliliters of P3%. and there is one milliliter of carbonate solution per 25 milliliters of P3%. To inoculate your culture, you will pick a few colonies from an agar plate with a sterile loop and add it to the media by swishing it in the bottle. Dispose of your loop and seal the bottle tightly. To add methane to the bottle, first sterilize the septa with an alcohol prep pad. We add methane by filling a syringe and injecting it through a filter into the bottle. A filter is important to maintain sterility to be sure that only our methanotrope grows in the culture. Methane gas should be handled with care. It is flammable and potentially explosive. Carefully fill the syringe with approximately 50 milliliters of methane gas and inject that into the culture. Lastly, label your culture and add it into the incubator. Supplying gas to methanotrophs growing on agar plates requires hardware, which will add gas into a sealed jar. Alternatively, the plates can contain methanol, which will also support the growth of methanotrophs. Plates should be incubated upside down with the agar side up. After a few days, you can evaluate the growth of the methanotrophs. You should see individual colonies on your agar plate. This species has a light pink color. Your liquid culture should appear cloudy or turbid when viewed. This is indicative of bacterial growth. 